couple of years ago, I did a marine science internship in Belize with the Tobacco Key Marine Station. And it was such an incredible experience. And I thought that I would finally get around to showing some of the amazing marine life that I saw. For example, here I saw this loggerhead turtle on a snorkel and it was the first time I ever saw one. This experience was so amazing. I got opportunities to look at coral diseases, analyzing the different coral species and reef fish species that were in Belize, and just learning more about the current policies and conservation efforts that are happening in the country. There's also a lionfish problem here, which you can see. Uh, James, who was the marine biologist, he had this thing called a zookeeper where you can actually put lionfish after you spear them. Lionfish are actually invasive in the Atlantic as they consume a lot of smaller and juvenile fish species. And because they don't have any natural predators, their numbers are increasing rapidly. And so it's important that there are conservation actions towards reducing the lionfish population. I saw so much marine life ranging from angelfish to sharks, turtles, I saw a lot of butterfly fish. The amount of rays that we saw as well was insane. I also got the opportunity to go scuba diving at one point which was also great where we saw some giant lobsters. I find watching marine life so mesmerizing, especially on coral reefs. Coral reefs are a bunch of tiny little organisms that create an entire ecosystem and they support so much marine life and it's crucial that we protect them. Unfortunately, with increasing ocean temperatures, corals are facing bleaching where they lose their symbiotic zooxanthellae, which they work together as the corals provide a home for the zooxanthellae and the zooxanthellae provides an energy source for the corals especially Alcaporo coral, which you can see here, is definitely declining a lot in the Caribbean, even though this is one of the main dominating coral species, which cover vast areas. You can see in these videos how much marine life is supported by coral reefs, all of the various fish species that are swimming along there. One of the coolest things that I saw was a seahorse for the first time. Unfortunately, it is very hard to tell, but hopefully I can get a little bit of a closer shot and maybe put an arrow up so that you'd be able to see it. But this was my first time ever seeing a seahorse in the wild, which was insane. Another issue that our reefs are facing is uh, trash and pollution. I ended up finding some fishing gear, which is very unfortunate. Luckily, we were able to pick it up and, and take it out of the water. Another amazing moment was when we went for a night snorkel. And here we actually saw a massive octopus, which is very cool to see. And we saw other marine creatures, a lot of fish, uh, a lot of fry and also some rays as well. Though when we are night snorkeling, we make sure that we do not shine the light directly on the animals, just so we're not disturbing them too much. So we put the light to the side so that it's not directly in their eyes. Also, another very cool thing is that off of the docks, there was a bunch of conch shells, but oftentimes uh, rays would hang around the docks as well, which is very cool to be eating your breakfast and seeing rays swimming around. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching some marine life from my experience in Belize. Thank you for watching.